I'm in South Wales on what was Brunel's Vale of Neath Railway. And it's pretty difficult documenting Brunel in parts of the world because some of these branch lines are just not used anymore and the fixtures, the structures are hard to find. Today I photographed two beautiful viaducts east of Neath and I'm now looking for a tunnel at Abernant that went under a mountain and came out overlooking Merthyr Tidville which this line was a mineral railway carrying some passengers that Brunel built that opened in 1856 that transported iron ore to Cardiff down to Swansea as well to the coast from Merthyr Tidville and this is a single track railway which has been lifted and I'm being very lucky to find the southernmost portal of the tunnel and once again it's just a forgotten relic of Brunel's works because when you look at the box tunnel the Maidenhead Bridge Clifton Suspension Bridge, the Saltash Bridge, the Sonning Cutting, they're icons of Brunel's works that are familiar to a lot of people. But tucked away in the Welsh mountains is the Abernant Tunnel near Aberdare, forging its way about 600 feet below the crown of the hillside here. The tunnel's about a mile long. And I'm told that finding the North Portal overlooking Merthyr Tidville is harder than finding this one. There were several branch lines in South Wales, mainly carrying iron ore and coal from the head of the valleys down to the coast. And the other dales in Merthyr Tidville, Dow Lace, photographing the site of a house that Brunel visited to visit the Iron Masters who sponsored or helped pay for the railway, which was sponsored by the GWR, the Great Western Railway. But it's pretty tricky finding your way around South Wales because some of the language, the names are in Welsh, don't know how to pronounce them. And places like this are hard to find on any map. So this is one of the forgotten gems of Brunel's life bearing in mind that he physically surveyed this, what you see, path now. He surveyed about a thousand miles of railway. And when Brunel was so busy in his lifetime that he crammed two men's lives into one man's world, it's very difficult for any Brunel biographer to include everything. But the book I've virtually finished has collected all the details I can find from 20 books and put them into one so that little lost gems like this portal are included.